I really want your thoughts and opinions on this. Now, we all know that white is a great color, right? Well, in my mind, it's always because it looked fairly natural, you know, fish belly white. It, you know, kind of resembles shad and minnows, those types of, you know, prey species. But something that an angler told me years ago, and you'll hear other anglers talking about this, professional anglers talking about this, and they will refer to what is called the glow. Now, what do I mean by this? We know that light colors reflect light and dark colors absorb light. And in my mind, we see this because the density of water is different. And when that sunlight starts to come back to us in the water, it gives this appearance of this glow. And it's not just a camera thing. You can go ahead and take a white lure and stand on your boat deck or stand on the shoreline and, and look at it down there in the water and see this little bit of a glow, that light coming back to us. And it's not this phenomenon that I'm interested in. It's what it represents. When we see that with our lures, that tells us that lure is going to be able to be seen or noticed from a distance. Now in this clip right here, I'm swimming a couple of stick baits with a willow leaf blade attached to it from a previous video. And the green pumpkin one just blends right into the background. You can barely notice it from a distance and the white one really stands out. We can see it extremely easily. So is white a tremendous color because of its high contrast more than because of its resemblance of something in the natural world? Well, I took to the lake to try to push myself in this area and get myself out of my comfort zone. I used a bright chartreuse wacky rig in this ultra clear water. This is something I would never normally do. I normally go with natural colors unless the waters are just teeming with smallmouth. Smallies love chartreuse. And if I did, it might be, you know, a chartreuse end of a tail or something. You know, I, I don't normally fish this with a straight chartreuse lure. And I was fishing at shallow too, so we had all kinds of panfish up in the shallows. You know, there's minnows up there. This really stood out in stark contrast to everything else around. And after a bit, I caught some small bass. I caught a rock bass. I ended up catching a smallmouth. But then the day just kept getting better. There's a better one. Definitely. Oh, don't lose them. Don't come off. Don't come off. Just ate that glow up. Just crazy. Something I don't normally do. This one's got a lot of spots on them. Nice fish. Now, like you, I've caught so many fish on colors like green pumpkin and black, but we know that those darker colors absorb light, right? And they can't be seen from a distance as easily. And even here in this shot where I've got four different colors, we can notice that the brighter colors have got this glow. They're easily seen. And even when I flip it over to grayscale or black and white with an absence of color now, we're just looking at shades. What we can really focus on is how the contrast stands out between the lure and the background. Now, science has told us that bass see contrast really well, right? So my question to you is, and what I've been experimenting with, on those days when that bite is tough, when it's really hard out there, should we be focusing more on high contrast as opposed to what a lot of us do and what I've done, go ultra natural. So if I'm using finesse type presentations on a tough day, instead of green pumpkin Ned rigs or shaky heads, should I be going with a white or even a chartreuse? If those bass can see the lures from a greater distance because that light is bouncing back to them, is that going to turn a tough day around? What's your opinion on this? What is your experience with this? And hey, if you want to watch a video that talks about doubling or even tripling your catch rate on a swim jig, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.